Hmm. I'm just back from buying coal. And my coal man was asking, what's an axolotl? So this is for you, Mr. Home Fire Mavin Fuels, dude. Jeez, I actually don't even know your name. But anyway, it doesn't matter. This is Pinky. She is an adult axolotl from Mexico. In the wild, they're from Mexico. She's not from Mexico. She's from a girl that lived in Beliver had her. I used to breed her. So she's had many, many babies. Look at her gills. Aren't they incredible? So there's like gill filaments there either side of her of her head. And the gills are in behind. And she stays underwater her whole life. Most amphibians will lose the tail, and lose the gills and come out of the water once they reach adulthood. But axolotls are neotenic, which means they retain their childhood or their adolescent features right into adulthood. They're also used in science for a lot of scientific research. This, the strides we've made in spina bifida treatment, for example, is because of these guys, these axolotls. They have this regenerative um, cells in them that if for whatever reason she was to lose a limb or part of her gills or her tail or any part of her body, her organs, her bones, any part of her can regenerate completely without any scar tissue. And that's been really fascinating to scientists for many, many years. And that's why the axolotl is so popular in um, pet care, in animal care. They, they are a phenomenal animal when it comes to wild counterparts to domestic ones. They're the only amphibian in the world that are critically endangered in the wild, yet abundant in people's fish tanks in their living rooms. Um, I got a great kick out of breeding them for the last couple of years because I've always loved animals and wildlife and been very interested in nature. And to be able to say that there's an in critically endangered species breeding in my house was just for me, it was the greatest flex I've ever had. And it still to this day is the greatest flex I've ever had. Now there is a bit of dirt on the bottom there. That's from the worms that she eats. And then she poops out worm poop. <laughs> I have already cleaned in here. And when I do clean out, I use this hose here to siphon it out. And it goes into the bucket. And then I leave it for a few minutes to settle. So it's in the process of being cleaned. I have to go back in with the hose again and hose out. It's like hoovering. And she eats an earthworm. Probably an earthworm every evening or every, every two days she'll get a whole earthworm if they're very big. Sometimes I'll give her two small ones as a treat. But she's kind of chunky. She's a chunky gal. Aren't you gal? And there we have a mix of fake plants and live plants and you can see there the width of her body is the same as the width of her head and that is a rough estimate of a healthy axolotl and also the gills are good and healthy the gills are nice and flowing hey girl they're nice and there's filaments on the end of each of the gills gill fronds there look at her isn't she just amazing I think she's amazing. Some people think they're horrid ugly, but I, I think she's absolutely beautiful. You're my queen. So thank you, Mr. Coleman, for asking me what an axolotl is. And I hope you are following me now. I'm shameless wherever I go and I get a chance to talk about animals. I'm like, yes, and I'm on YouTube and Facebook and Instagram. And please follow me and support me and subscribe and all that good stuff so that I can make some money out of this stuff. Because, not that I love money, but I love being able to eat and pay my bills. Thank you very much. Bye, Pinky. <laughs>